Uh, yeah. We want to begin with Chuck Todd, NBC's political director and chief White House correspondent. He is in Denver this morning. Chuck, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Savannah. Look, this may have been the most substantive debate in the television era. And Mitt Romney dealt with it as if his campaign depended on it, while a subdued President Obama let Romney dictate the terms of the debate. Not exactly the gift the president was looking for on his 20th wedding anniversary. And so uh, I just want to wish, uh, sweetie, uh, you happy anniversary and let you know that a year from now, we will not be celebrating it in front of 40 million people. From the very beginning, Mitt Romney displayed a confidence and commanding presence on stage, almost one-upping the president right at the start on his wedding anniversary shout-out. Congratulations to you, Mr. President, on your anniversary. I'm sure this was the mo most romantic place you could imagine here, here with me. That set the tone as Romney seemed to control the tempo, sometimes even serving as the moderator. Let's get back to Medicare. Let's get back to Medicare. And it didn't take long for the deep philosophical disagreements to come through, first on taxes. Now, Governor Romney's proposal that he's been promoting for 18 months calls for uh, a $5 trillion tax cut on top of $2 trillion of additional spending for our military. And he is saying that he is going to pay for it by closing loopholes and deductions. The problem is that uh, he's been asked a over a hundred times how you would close those deductions and loopholes, and he hasn't been able to identify them. Virtually everything he just said about my tax plan is inaccurate. All right, so so if, if the tax plan he described were a tax plan I was asked to support, I'd say absolutely not. I'm not looking for a $5 trillion tax cut. What I've said is I won't put in place a tax cut that adds to the deficit. For 18 months, he's been running on this tax plan. And uh, now, five weeks before the election, uh, he's saying that his big, bold idea is, never mind. Let me repeat what I said. Sorry. I'm not in favor of a $5 trillion tax cut. That's not my plan. Sure, Another Medicare stark difference, Medicare. One of the few the times the question. president played aggressor. It's called premium support, but it's understood to be a voucher program. Uh, his and running you, mate, And you don't support that? I don't, and, and let me explain why. Uh, again, again, that's for future I understand. people, right? Not for current retirees. For, for, so if you're, if you're 54 or 55, you might want to listen, because uh, this, uh, this will affect you. Still, He's Romney seemed to control so many of the back and forth, even the lighter from, moments. And if not, I'll get rid of it. Obamacare's on my list. I apologize, Mr. President. I use that term with, with all respect. By I like the way. It. Good. Okay, good. So the difference in their debate demeanors was most evident during the closing statements. You know, four years ago, uh, we were going through a, a major crisis, uh, and yet uh, my faith and confidence in the American uh, future is undiminished. This is, a, uh, this is an important election, and I'm concerned about America. I'm concerned about the direction America has been taking over the last four years. You know, four years ago, uh, I said that I'm not a perfect man and I wouldn't be a perfect president, and that's probably a promise that Governor Romney thinks I've kept. But... I also promised that I'd fight every single day on behalf of the American people. You can look at the record. There's no question in my mind that if the president were to be reelected, you'll continue to see a middle class squeeze with incomes going down and prices going up. I'll get incomes up again. Busy day on the campaign trail. The president does rallies here in Denver, then flies to Madison, Wisconsin, for a big rally this afternoon. Mitt Romney, nothing here, but he flies to Virginia and has a rally with his running mate, Paul Ryan. Savannah. Chuck Todd, thank you.